hey guys it's me Tolha. in this video we will be modeling this cool looking facade design in revit and if you want to learn advanced 3d modeling in revit you can check out my courses on learnrevitonline.com and to download this project file along with 60 plus other revit project files you can check out my patreon the link is in the description now let's get started so here i'm in revit and as usual first uh, we are going to create some new levels so let's go to the south elevation here and i'm just going to select this level and press cs on the keyboard to create similar and we'll create two more of this and let's select this one and make it 10 feet and this one also should be 10 feet perfect let's go back to level one here and uh, let's select wall from here and then i'm just going to create a rectangle here but before that i will just change the height here let's make it 10 feet and let's create a rectangle here like so and then i'm just going to select this and just drag this uh, dimension to the face here on this side as well and then i'm just going to change the width of this rectangle to 20 feet and let's select this one and repeat the same just drag this uh, temporary dimension to the face of this wall on this side as well and just make it 50 feet let's take this uh, rectangle to the center here and now i'm just going to create a floor here let's select floor from here and then let's use this rectangle and just create a rectangular floor here and then select this one and just move it uh, 10 feet and or maybe and let's add 7 feet more perfect let's click finish and if I go to 3d see we got our floor and uh, the walls here now let's create a storefront here so let's go back to level 1 and select wall from here and then select storefront from this drop down and let's change the height of this to 8 feet maybe and just create a storefront here like so now let's work on the first floor so instead of creating these walls again I'm just going to select all of this and then copy and then click this drop down and align to selected levels and we'll just copy this to uh, level 2 let's click OK perfect now I think we can just edit this floor select that edit boundary and i'm just going to take this back we only need around uh, seven feet maybe perfect let's click finish and our first floor also ready for this basic model now we can work on the level three so first i will just copy the floor because we want to edit this floor uh, uh, because we want to create a curved floor on this level here so let's select that copy to clipboard and we'll just paste that to level 3 click ok perfect let's select this edit boundary and go to level 3 and we will create a curved corner here so for that we can use fillet arc let's click it and we'll uh, give a radius here check this box and then let's put 10 feet here 10 feet radius and then let's select these two lines perfect let's click finish and go back to 3d and now uh, we'll create the walls uh, following this curve so for that let's go back to level 3 again and go to architecture select wall and we'll use pick lines tool and make sure you have you have a generic wall selected here let's use this generic 8 inch which I use in other levels uh, as well and we'll pick the uh, edges of this floor okay make sure the location line is set to finish face exterior now we can just pick the edges here now let's select these two walls and we want to move them let's press MB on the keyboard and just move them around 8 inches which is the thickness of this wall now I want to create uh, another wall here so let's select this 
uh, let's select this wall and press CS on the keyboard to create similar and we'll create uh, something like this now we want to create another curve here so for that also we can use fillet arc so first we need to select wall and then we'll get these options let's select fillet arc and check this radius and this time we'll give three feet radius and select these two walls perfect so we got another curve here okay maybe we can increase the radius here let's put four feet okay it's looking a lot better now let's go back to 3d so you can see we got something like this now before working on this uh, facade here we are going to create slats on this wall so let's go back to level 3 and to create the slats i'm going to use curtain wall again so let's select wall from here and then select storefront from this drop down and let's create a duplicate of this let's call it slats and first we will remove the curtain panel we don't need any glass panel here so we can just select empty from this drop down and then in the vertical grid we'll choose fixed distance and i'll put one and a half inch uh, spacing one inch will be the uh, thickness of the slat and we'll get half an inch uh, spacing between each slat now we don't need any horizontal grid so i'll just remove them let's select none from here and uh, in the vertical mullions we only need interior type so let's select one inch square from this drop down and remove the other uh, other mullions and we need to remove the horizontal mullions as well let's select none from this drop down and let's click ok and i'm going to use pick lines again to create the slats let's give offset here one inch which is the thickness of the slats then we can just pick this pick the edge of this wall there you go let's repeat that here as well i think we can just drag this until here maybe now let's go back to 3d you see we got our slats here as well now we can just copy this floor to the top level here so let's select copy to clipboard and then paste align to selected levels and just select level 4 from here perfect we can just attach these walls to the floor here so let's tap select all of this and just attach to this uh, floor here these walls as well and these slats as well we can just attach them now let's work uh, on this uh, on the facade design here for that also we can use wall but before that i will just drag these walls here or we can just use align al and just select the face uh, of this floor here and then this wall let's repeat that here as well okay it's a bit difficult to see the face of this wall so first we can just drag it a little bit and then use align and just align that uh, to the face of this wall here let's repeat that with this one as well let's select that let's drag it okay just drag it just click on join elements and then we can just align this face here as well perfect so we are almost done modeling this we only need to work on this uh, facade here uh, to create that kind of a design we are going to use wall again so let's go to level 2 and and go to architecture select wall and let's create a wall here okay make sure we have selected the generic wall here and then we can change the location line as well to finish face exterior and then we can create a wall like this now let's select this wall and we are going to edit this wall so let's select that edit profile
and let's go to the front elevation here as you can see here we need to go to south elevation so let's go to south and first we'll delete these lines and we'll create another one let's use line from here and we'll draw this line uh, to the middle of this and then we'll create a two feet line uh, just press escape and we'll draw from here and let's just create something like this and then I'm going to I'm just going to create two feet offset uh, on level 2 here and then we can use arc select this line let's draw a straight line just snap this one and we'll create a perfect uh, arc like this can see we have created something like this now let's click finish let's go back to 3d and there you go we have created this kind of cool looking facade design here but I think there is some issues here with this part we need to move these slats a little bit because I think uh, this wall and these slats overlapping so we need to go back to level 3 and uh, we can just move these walls but before that I will just delete these slats we'll create them once we move this wall let's select these walls and we'll just create a gap here around one and a half inch like so and then on this uh, part here we can create the slats again so now uh, first let's uh, just go to 3d and check this and it's looking perfect now let's go back to uh, level 3 and create the slats select wall and select slats from this drop down and use big lines and uh, just give one inch offset and we'll just pick the edges of these walls here like so and let's go back to 3d there you go it's looking a lot better now now we need to cre create another wall here but before that we want to edit this floor let's get it boundary go to the top view level 4 or maybe level 3 and let's delete this one and use pick lines and we'll just pick the curve here by pressing tab key close this uh, sketch and okay let's delete this line and let's go to 3d there you go now we can simply create a wall here so for that also we can go back to level 2 let's select this wall and press cs on the keyboard and then use pick lines and let's just pick the edge here make sure uh, location line is set to finish face exterior and then we can simply select the edge of this wall here like so okay just ignore this warning because we'll change the height of this uh, overlapping walls now let's go to 3d so we can simply change the height of the slats here okay let's select this wall and then right click select all instances visible in view and then we can simply change the height here so we want to we want to give it uh, eight feet here let's put eight foot there you go it's looking a lot better now let's just I use align tool and just align this wall here and we should uh, just uh, detach this wall from this uh, from this floor and then here I think we need to use align again and just align this wall here 
let's click on join elements and we'll just quickly edit this sketch and we have created this cool looking facade design in revit i will quickly add the walls and a gate here so that's for this video in the next part we will render this project in enscape so stay tuned for that that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my courses on learnedavitonline.com and to download this project file you can check out my patreon the link is in the description and yeah i will see you guys in the next video